Hello Shining Ones and welcome to the Megas channel and today we're going to look at the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. This deck is beautiful, it's inspired by the Art Nouveau movement and each card is gold foil stamped and it just really brings the images out. I think you're going to find this absolutely amazing. I know I've talked to many of you and you're looking for a new deck. This might be the one you're going to want to get. So let's bring the camera in a little closer and we'll look at each individual card. Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck. Look at this beautiful box it comes in. And then we'll go through all the major arcana here. We have the Fool. And can you see how the sun shimmers on that gold foil? So beautiful. The Magician. And with these cards, I mean, it's the, it's the style of art, it's the, it's the colors they use, and just the, the emotions that it brings up. And that's what I love about my cards. I, when I buy a deck, it's because they make me feel something. And these definitely do that. Look at that gold. Just beautiful, so regal. The Empress. The Emperor. These cards just check all the boxes for me. Absolutely love them. Look at that. Beautiful. The lovers. The chariot. Look at this strength card. Oh, just beautiful. I know in some decks, like, you're not gonna like every card, but I like every card in this deck. And of course, you guys all know me, my absolute favorite, the Hermit. Love it. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. What do you guys think of these? The Hanged Man. The death card, temperance, wow, look at the gold in that, the devil, the tower, and you know I love the star cards, wow, so beautiful. The moon. Look at that sun card. Wow. Judgment. In the world. So beautiful. I'll show you some of the minor too. King of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Ace of Wands. Four of Pentacles, I love that. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, just a beautiful deck. I absolutely love that deck, and that's one I like to take out and just meditate on the images. Maybe light a candle, get something nice to drink, maybe a cup of warm ginger tea, and just meditate on the different images. Before we go today, let's pull a card and see what the universe has to tell us. We have the hanged man, and this is a, a state of mind. Uh, you'll see the gold halo around his head, and that represents a, a holy state of mind. And something interesting, uh, mind and man come from the same Sanskrit root word, mana, meaning mind and to think. 
And also you'll notice his leg positions are in a cross, and then his arms and head make a triangle. And in alchemy, a cross over a triangle is uh, sulfur. And when it's inverted, it's showing the completion of the great work of self-transmutation. And this is also showing uh, to let go and let God. It's letting the ego go and coming into the God mind. And it's a sacrifice, if you will. And Carl Jung said something beautiful that sacrifice means to make sacred. So we're sacrificing our own ideas and receiving God's idea, becoming one in the God mind. A beautiful card. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed it today. And you know, I love you. I love you. I love you.